I will call the licensing hearings and public safety meeting to order. Um, roll call, Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Donahue. Here. And then Alderperson Sorensen's here. Um, Barb Feldy and Betty Ackley are excused. Uh, for those present in the chamber, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, moving right along. Approval of the minutes from May 27th. Second. Then a motion to approve by Alderperson Donahue, second by Decker. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. All right. Um, RO 26-2021, direct referral submitting various license applications for the period ending April 14th, 2021. City Attorney. So we've got, uh, I think we'll divide this into three motions. Uh, first, we're recommending that the following change of premise applications be held. Uh, that is Il Retrovo, uh, Trattoria Stefano, and Local Press Eatery. Uh, these applicants uh, need to meet with staff to discuss some issues regarded, regarding their applications. There's some other things that they've got to do. Uh, we don't really want to deny them. We just we want to give them the opportunity to... Uh, uh, work with us on those. So th that would be a motion to hold those three. Is there such motion? Motion to hold the three. Second. All right, there's been a motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Those ones are held. Then we're going to. Uh, ask that you approve uh, the following with uh, contingencies. First, Anglers Avenue Pub and Grill, uh, the contingency there, uh, this is a change of premise application. The contingency there is that the applicant needs to enter into an agreement for the use of RDA land and comply with all the contingencies in that agreement related to the license. Um, and just to note that may actually, it may possibly require an extension to their sidewalk cafe permit. It may or may not. Um, we're, we're still working through that with them. Uh, and we're also uh, suggesting that you grant with contingencies the change of premises application and the sidewalk cafe license application for Legendary's Wings and Things. Uh, in this case, uh, they've made some changes. Uh, th they were part of the same group as the three that we're holding, but they've made some changes uh, to their current application, basically um, limiting uh, what they're asking for to just the, the sidewalks around their property on both uh, Penn Avenue and uh, on 8th Street. Um, and so the contingency there would just simply be making sure that the uh, on both sets of applications that the description is updated uh, properly and uh, that they um, comply with uh, the five foot ADA uh, requirement. Okay. There's motion approved with contingencies. Second. All right, there's been a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Uh, chair votes aye as well. That's approved. And I did say that there was going to be three motions, but actually this is the uh, the strange one in which you, we usually have a general motion at the end, but that actually covered all of that entire RO, so we don't need a general motion. So we can move on to okay, the next okay. one. Uh, 3.2 RO number 25-2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2020. April 14th, 2021, June 30th, 2021, and June 30th, 2022. So I'm going to divide this into several sets of motions. Uh, first, we are recommending the following beverage operator license applications uh, be held for a denial hearing. One is the new beverage operator license application for David D. Felbob. 
Uh, it's basically related to his record of violations related to the license activities, record as a law violator, failure to accurately answer application questions. And the other is the renewal operator license uh, application for Stephanie M. Garcia. And this is regarding uh, a serious incident uh, that took place actually at the tavern at which she works. Uh, I, would, I would expect, that we're requesting both of those be held. I would expect, at least in Ms. Garcia's case, that there will be a hearing. Okay. Is there such motion? Motion to hold. Um, Second. All right, there's been a motion and a second. All those, in, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of holding, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are then recommending that the following beverage operator license applications be granted with a warning. One is a new application to David Meinolf. Uh, the warning relates to a, uh, a conviction that he had uh, for sale of tobacco to underage. He didn't need a license for that, but it, but it is related to the license activity. And the other is a renewal application by Benjamin Johnston. Uh, he had some recent alcohol convictions that we believe were related to the license activity, but not sufficient to warrant uh, non-renewal. So those would be to grant with a warning. So moved. Second. All right. Um, there's been a motion and second to grant the warning. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are recommending the following change of premises applications be granted, uh, but with some contingencies. First, the Limelight Pub. The contingency there is they just need to clarify the premises description on their application, and they need to confirm compliance with ADA requirements. And then uh, the other is actually two change of premises applications, two separate ones for the wharf for two different events. Uh, in that case, uh, the uh, contingency would be uh, to obtain a street festival permit for each event. Uh, and also um, the, this application does include the boardwalk area and the contingency we wanna include on there is that any use of the boardwalk area will be subject to the approval of the Department of Public Works, which may be withdrawn depending on the conditions at the time of the events. Okay, so moved. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. And then we do have a general uh, motion to approve the remainder of the applications on uh, this uh, RO. Move to approve. Second. There's been a motion by Mary Lynn, second by Dean um, to grant the remaining licenses. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Okay. So Ryan? Yep, yeah, well, Mary Lynn. Um, you were so efficient. I didn't have a chance to ask Chuck if, because um, I think a couple of us got calls from Dane Schaefer about um, his extension of premises. And Chuck, did that all get worked out? It sounds that way. Yeah, so for, for, for what was in front of the committee today, he made some changes to that, and which enabled you to approve the, the changes that he made with those contingencies. Uh, my understanding is that he's going to be uh, also still working on the, the street festival uh, permit. There will also be uh, at the next council meeting a, um, uh, an ordinance change uh, that basically um, removes, it, it basically makes, uh, streamlines the process for doing street festival permits in areas that the city may have at one time determined are, are through streets so that uh, the police chief can just simply decide whether it's safe to do them there rather than having this list of certain places where you can't do it and then a list of certain places where it's kind of up to the chief uh, whether to do it and then a third list of places where it just can be done. 
Uh, this way, it just simply the chief takes a look to see whether it can be safely and legally done, and, and there you go. That will be in front of the committee on, on uh, uh, July 6th. Uh, uh, at this point, you know, we'll, we'll have a discussion. Maybe we, uh, Alderman Donahue, we should have a discussion outside of this meeting. But uh, the last I heard is that the request was that it just be put in to come to committee. But um, I'm also hearing that there may be interest in people suspending the rules, which is possible, which can be done on July 6th. Yeah, I, and that would be my interest as well. So, but yes, happy to chat. Okay. Sounds good. Um, next meeting will be July 15th. Um, seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. It's been a motion second to adjourn. All those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 411. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.